if one group of of uh, people is suffering from depression and suicide, this is a problem for all of us. It's very familiar, but it's also like shocking because like, are we actually saying this out loud? Part of that immigrant experience is maybe not talking about it. That's very much how I feel the Asian culture has also learned to cope, to not share your problems or else you'll bring shame to yourself and the family. I remember asking a doctor, just like crying about just all these things that I felt like I couldn't talk to uh, my parents about. My diagnosis was depression and anxiety. While having a breakdown of my own, I made over 60 phone calls to help me help myself. I said I wasn't suicidal, so I wasn't able to get the help that I needed. I got involved in a relationship that was emotionally abusive, physically abusive, and I experienced sexual assault. It has been difficult to speak about at home. I felt more comfortable calling friends, calling a crisis hotline, than I did approaching my parents. I felt slow. I wasn't fast enough. And then from then on, I told myself I am slow. The reason why I decided to go into public speaking is because I wanted to go out and share my story. I wanted to help establish this day, May 10, as Asian Pacific American Mental Health Day, so that people know that your struggles, but you're also your resilience, is something that is being talked about. I'm going to teach us a word. The word is fiction. Say it with me. Fiction. fiction. A lot of what I talk about in my show, Wong Fu of the Cuckoo's Nest, is this concept of fiction. Fiction that we're fed as Asian women about what our lives are supposed to look like. People who had no idea would write me and say, you know, I've struggled with depression, with suicide attempts, and they just felt so open to share this with me. I was dating a guy and he was also going through a depressive issue. And uh, one of my writing partners from Quick and Funny, uh, Greg, came over and we were about to write something and it had to be Frozen themed. That was what our task was for the day. We fantasized about being his bride while he contemplated suicide. You might not think that I have woes. Morose hoes, no. Let it go. Let it go. My mind's daily woe. With this video, we're going to say what depression actually looks like and heighten it and make fun of it in order to have a laugh and then go back to what it actually looks like. It really means a lot when I post this video and then I get some Filipina teens who are experiencing this and they're tweeting at me and saying, hey, I needed this. I'm not able to talk about this at home either. That's where stereotypes can be so hurtful and that's where we need to work on dismantling those myths. Asian America is not a monolithic thing. There's plenty of different kinds of people and immigrant stories and socioeconomic backgrounds and experiences um, that have not been addressed and mental health is a huge part of that. When you share your story, you give other people that safe space um, to talk about their own story.